One of the most dramatic training exercises they do here is this, a freight train derailment. As you know, these freight trains go through cities and towns across America. This one has hazardous materials in it, chemicals. In the old days, firefighters would take a chemical sensor and actually have to walk into this to put it in there so they would know whether they need to evacuate your home, which is right here, or a mile that way or on the other side. But now, something much better and faster to keep us all safe. That's the chemical sensor right down there, and you can see it's actually attached to a drone. So let's launch the drone up. Our NBC drone is in the air right now to show you how fast this can happen. We're going to launch it, and they're going to put it in there. It keeps firefighters out of harm's way and gets the information faster for the rest of us. Joe, you're a firefighter in Edison, New Jersey. Yes, this yes. impacts your community. Why is this so great for you? It's great because it keeps us out of harm's way, and it allows us to get rapid information to keep our community safe and tell us what's going on. And most keeping you safe as well. Absolutely. Thank you very much for everything you do. So that's just one of the things they do here, and they're deploying this technology across the country right now. Life-saving technology that could save you from a train crash. Pretty cool stuff. So what should you do if you are in a train accident? The first step, of course, always listen to directions from the train crew. Next, you should look for a way out. Also, of course, there are both emergency windows and doors you can operate manually. As for the safest place to sit, everyone always asks, should you sit in the front? Should you sit in the back? Experts say the middle of the train may be the safer place to sit because if there is a crash, the energy likely will be a crash on the front or the back. So you have a less chance of derailing in the middle. We all like that sensor. Yeah, that really drone, cool. That drone yeah, thing. That was cool. Keeps the firefighter safe, drops that sensor in, real-time information about what they're dealing with. Smart yeah, people. Great. And you've got more coming up on this series yeah, tomorrow, right? Yeah, our series Keeping Us Safe continues tomorrow. As you know, Dylan's sitting right here. It's the summer storm season. Reporting on it every day. Already this year, dangerous flash flooding and lightning strikes. But now popular apps say they can tell you when it's going to start raining and stop raining down to the minute so you're not caught in that severe storm. Question is, do they really work? We're going storm chasing, trying this out. That is tomorrow morning right here on Today, three of the most popular apps.